GitHub Copilot, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, Windows on Mac and Bing on the Downfall, and also Top Countries in Europe for Junior Devs and Students. Hey everyone, my name is Noble BM, and I want to wish you all a real well welcome to Weekly Code Quickies. In today's episode, we're going to talk about GitHub's Copilot improving its AI model and capabilities, but all problems still frustrate developers. Also, Microsoft Windows, now officially supported on Macs with Apple Silicon, but also takes a huge hit in the stock market after Bing loses control. And I'm pretty excited to announce junior devs and students are favoring this European country for study and starting their careers. So let's get started with our very first project, GitHub Copilot, the good, the bad and the ugly. Loved by some and yet turned off by most due to its annoying autocomplete. GitHub Copilot messes up intelligence. Many devs complain in the latest article of Visual Studio Code magazine. In my personal experience, this is exactly what turned me off from GitHub's Copilot in its initial release. Due to the fact that the most of my coding is done for teaching purposes, whether it is on my YouTube coding channel, or via my course at GitHub Copilot was more a annoyance than a helpful tool for me. At the end of the day, GitHub's Copilot can be helpful for some advanced developers working on well specific parts of a large project, but not so helpful for beginner developers that still need to understand the code itself and not immediately follow a AI suggestion. Now, even more, I would like to add that GitHub's Copilot will do more damage to the learning process by preventing beginner developers of making much necessary mistakes from which they could gain more experience and learn more than instead of having everything served on a silver platter. Now, a GitHub spokesman replied to this criticism that developers are working hard on GitHub's Copilot and are working on fixing this issue. So the spokesman replied, but we will, we will live to see if this really takes root. But not all bad news. Since its release, GitHub Copilot has had some significant improvements. They are constantly improving the AI model to offer better code suggestions. In the last blog post, GitHub cited their latest technical improvements as following. A updated AI codex model for delivering better results for coding synthesis better context understanding, which comes with improvements with a new paradigm called fill in the middle, which offers developers better craft prompts for code successions and a lightweight client side model. Now this is just an update for Visual Studio Code with a lightweight client side model that improves overall acceptance rates for code suggestions. This reduces the frequency of unwanted suggestions when they might prove disruptive to a developer's workflow. Now, in conclusion, not all bad news for GitHub Copilot, leaving me with the hope for a better experience and increased productivity down the road. Now, a very short touch on Microsoft Hub. On Mac, exciting news, Microsoft will support Windows on ARM and visual machines on Apple hardware. This means that a operating system that is certified as system ready will also be able to run in a visual machine on VMware Fusion for Apple Silicon, as well as other system ready certified hardware. Users can build applications and more that are destined for physical devices before even having one by using its virtual machine on Apple Silicon with Fusion. But a huge stock market drop was caused by, well, our little Bing AI here threatening a journalist and a student by having, in quotations or air quotations, evil alternative personalities, <laughs> they said. It also tried to break up a marriage and begged for his life, the bite reports. And of course, after this came out, Microsoft stock just took a huge plummet. And of course, clearly shareholders are unimpressed with Microsoft's stock drop since the beginning of the week and perhaps most of the, its downtime since the AI release in February 7th. So is this it for Bing? No, it's not. It's just a hiccup. We all know that new software has its problems, but 
I'm sure it will be solved. But also, as you can see in our AI wars, new and new AIs are coming out on almost on a daily basis now, at least on a weekly basis. So I'm still wondering, is AI going to change anything? Well, I don't think so. Although I did read some kind of article that the people are already being replaced with AI, with chat GTP. I cannot imagine how they are doing this. I think it's all bonkers. Come on, let's be serious. Now to our very last topic, which is in which, which is where, where should students and junior developers go to, to have a really, really lovely life in Europe. Now, is it France? Is it Germany? Is it Poland? Or maybe my home country, Romania? Well, it's Spain on number one, then Sweden on number two, three is Germany, Switzerland is number four, France is number five, Italy is number six, Norway number seven, the Czech Republic at number eight, number nine is Ireland, and ten is Netherlands. Then honorable mentions Portugal, and that's basically it. So, if you want to have a wonderful life as a junior web developer, then you should move to Spain and learn Spanish. Hola! Okay, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, subscribe to this podcast. Leave a review on Apple or Spotify. Find me on YouTube. Let's get connected. Find me also on Twitter. Come on. I wish everyone a lovely week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.